Hey everyone, Flying Dutchie here, and welcome back to the Empire of Japan. We are going to continue our Empire run, where we want to try to conquer all of this. And of course, all of this. Anyway, before we start, let's try to get 10% likes of all the views. So if the uh, video has 1000 views, let's try to get 100 likes. If it has 2000 views, it should have 200 likes. I think you guys can do it. And uh, yeah, let's unpause the game. So, I was colonizing over here, so that we can claim Palembang and the other countries around here. Um, and we actually vassalized these two Spice Islands. We also have this one, maybe this will also become Spice Island. Um, yeah, they just need uh, 190 relations and then we can annex them after a while. Uh, oh, we first need to offer vassalization. So, we need to try to get to the 190. And that's going to be hard. We can do some uh, influence nation, we can give them some money. And then we have a chance, I think, so it should not be that big of a problem. Uh, we can also go to war with uh, Nani over here. And I think we are just going to do that right now. So, let's get ourselves a small army. That's actually flanking everything and let's get these 13,000 fight Yang Zhao because they are allied with uh, Nanai. Uh, yes we can take this one but there is no reason to spend more points for admin tech 10. The Moluccan people request the Shinto conversion. Oh! People want to become Shinto here. Of course! They are now Shinto, that's nice. It's really nice. Alright, we have two generals, right? We do. I will give this one to you. I No, I will give the siege general to this one. Because he needs to siege more forts, I think. Let's just bring a diplomat home. Gonna take some time. Uh, we are doing on our force limit. We can build four more troops if we want to. And we can build more boats. Now... We still need to build five heavy ships, and I think the time is there that we will start doing so. I really think so. Oh, and we are going to get raided now in our uh, colony by the pirates of Palembang, I guess. Are these pirates? Yeah, they need to go. And fast. They need to leave. Uh, they know that you're gonna attack them because they they all they always move away from where you are standing. It's really funny to see. If I go here, they will move to Ulk because that's a, a safer province. Yeah, we have a lot of manpower. There is really no reason to wait. And I will not make them co-belligerent because then Ming will join. What I will do is just take what I can. Uh, and maybe we get a border with Ming, that's fine. If they attack me to become their tributary, we will just have a fight. If we lose, then we will become a tributary, but that's fine. Because when we are a tributary of Ming, we can fight their tributaries. Without the intervention of Ming, I think. But it's, that's completely fine. We do not have a CB against you, really? I thought I had a CB again uh, on you, but apparently I don't. Oh, well, then we have to wait a bit, I guess. Let's uh, make a bit more money in the meantime. Because that is going to be the next war. And yeah, the rest is all tributary, so we are, that's all what we can do over there. We are also claiming Palembang, so we will go to war there as well. We will do that after the war with uh, Nanai and uh, Gyang Zhao. We should also... Well, we should first look at our building situation. I don't really care about this. Let's get the trade power then. Uh, do we have a good workshop? We have a 27 workshop, that is a lot. I still need to build more trade ports. All those three are good uh, trade ports that will give a lot of trade in the end. You are not. So I guess we are going to build the marketplaces first. I 
there and over here, right? No, we already have it here. Maybe over here as well. We have the marketplace there and we need it. Yeah, also there. Okay. We need to upgrade those ports as well. Yeah, we, we need to spend a lot of money. On all kinds of things. Now, conversions. We do have some better provinces now. Where is this? Wolane. Must be something over here, right? Ah. Uh. No? I have no idea where that province is. Yeah, it is over here. It's the Furdan state. Maybe we should uh, try to... Uh, get some things to uh, our religion over here. Now, it will become Catholic later on. But for now, let's just make it Shinto. It also means less uh, revolt risk, of course. Uh, for, yeah, Clodiometers is high because we have too many colonies. We are rooting out a bit of corruption. That's also gone soon, so that is nice to see. Uh, oh, 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 I forgot about state maintenance. It's good that you check these things sometimes, because we don't need those edicts anymore, and they are very expensive. Because we already have uh, colonialism embraced, so we don't need this anymore. That's going to help a lot. Only this edict here. It's the edict map mode. It's very handy. You can immediately see if you have edicts. I really like it. Now, how's the income now? Yeah, it's a lot better now, right? State maintenance is now only four. Advisors are four. Army is still expensive, of course. The fleet is still somewhat expensive. Well, not really, actually. Two is not a nothing. It's the corruption that's going to be away soon. Two years. And then our economy is doing very well. Okay. Can I reach the 190 with Ternate? Let's give them all the things like military access and, pro pr and uh, the guarantee. We offer you military access, that's 10. Something you can do. Uh, you can ask for trade power, that also gives you relations for some reason. Uh, steer, is that no? Transfer. Oh, they are in a trade league. With Bhutan, so I cannot ask for that one. Knowledge sharing, really? Oh, I can help them. Uh, I can give subsidies. I can... Proclaim their guarantee. That's 147. Then a gift is not enough. So we need to do the influence nation. That is really expensive. 60. No! Oh. It's so much. Does trust help or something? I don't think trust help with the relation. No, it won't. Um, so a gift is not enough. That will only get, help them. Uh, will only go to uh, 25 extra. Then we are at 172. Steering trade is not doing anything. That's also not going to work for us. I can make them a tributary. But I don't want them as a tributary. I want them as a vessel. So I guess we have to pay then. Oh. I should have conquered them. That's the conclusion, right? <laughs> okay, let's raise the maintenance. Because we are going to war again. And we will only go to war more and more. Uh, we can get a claim over here. Get out of here. Who are your allies? You have a lot of allies, and you also get a claim on you since we can. There we go. So much money to uh, send them a gift. I can't even get the money. You have to do it after the war, I guess. Ugh. Horrible. 
And of course we lose our general right before we go to war. Let's get a new one. You suck. That general is really bad. To wait for 20, then we can uh, go. Okay, we have a marketplace. Now, I will just put my merchant on uh, improve relations here. So it will keep them at uh, 100. One more month. Stay there, claim this, come home, and then we go to war with them. Go. Go. Kill those, and you're gonna go there. Still two years ahead. We are one year ahead of time, so... No, we are gonna wait. Maybe we can uh, keep our... All our admin points for uh, when we need it. Most efficient way to spend our points. I wonder where Yang Zhao is going to go. Now you're going to be annoying, I already know. Oh, we might catch them there. Yes. Catch that army. Uh, go over there. There's 10,000 armies sitting there. Uh, they are running away. Let's just occupy their lands. They are making more troops and they are getting away with it. Of course they do. Okay, let's just stay there then. That is such a big problem over there. Go there. At a level 3. F yeah. Let's. Um, do we have siege pips? No. So just l leave what is needed and then help over here. Okay. We get the warning now that we are getting close to our admin cap. But I think we will be just at our cap in the right. In the 1518 when we don't have to pay a penalty. So that's perfect. We can also finish the quality ideas, but I think, well... No, I don't need that one. I like the 5% discipline, of course. What is this? The parallel authority. Merchants get loyalty. And even more influence. Or we do this one and they don't. Let's, uh, let's say that is okay. Yes, come over here. Did we mothball our fleet? No, then we should use it to siege. I could use more troops, of course, but I think I'm completely fine with what I have here. Okay, it's the 1st of January, so we should tech up. Because we don't pay any penalties anymore. It's only 570. To get admin tech 10 and diplo tech 9, do I take it? Yes, because we have no more exploration ideas. It's very cheap because we completed one of the uh, idea groups. There we go, and we can pick the next idea, and that's going to be expansion. We are going to get the uh, the colonization game going on, and then we go with religious. So we need a lot of admin points. Go, so we can actually pick this immediately, and we should do that because then we can put you on the other colony, and that will also cost us less money. It was six, it's going to be four now. Yeah, the agenda of the Bushi is not gonna work. So we are gonna lose uh, that mission. Now Ming is completely uh, occupying Bengal. Yeah. What a shame. You have a, a cannon and three siege pips, so. See, it should go pretty quickly.
Uh, we should focus on admin points, by the way. Um, do I keep the missionary guy? I think for now the answer is yes, because we are converting. Is the colonial maintenance now? Yeah, it's only four, because we have two colonists. So if we now take uh, a third colony, it's going to be eight, because we don't have a third colonist. But... Uh, Uh, when you convert 10 provinces, you get more uh, favor as well here, which is really nice. We should really try to convert 10 provinces. And power is going up. Gonna get some rebels soon. We get local settler increase in... Oh, and we get 5 years of extra assimilation and stuff. Okay, that's nice to see. The sack of Mokyu. So lose money for armed tradition? Or not? I don't want to lose the money, so... I'm sorry about that. Well, not really. <laughs> what is your general? A 2-5? Oh, that is a big one. They have so many forts. Okay, I guess we are going to send our troops there anyway then, to deal with the revolts. Uh, I get innovativeness if I pick this. Could pick it. I'm not sure, it's not very important. Not at all actually. Alright, get on the boat, land over here. And keep converting. We get 15 unrest somewhere. Yes, of course. We only get bad events in this game. See if we can... No, let's just send these troops over as well. Japan is safe. We need all our troops in Manchuria. There we go. Put you guys over there. Bring you guys to that province. Where are you going? Okay, well, I'm not going to attack them in the mountains, I guess. Can I... No, let's just wait. Or not. No, too late. I think I'm just going to attack them in the mountains and, get, and get rid of it. We have a lot of manpower. We don't have to wait. It's a bit scary over here what's going to happen. Gets a bit of attrition. Ming peace out with Delhi, white peace. Yeah, they are going to tributary Bengal. Oh my goodness. There we go. Completely fine over there. We just need to siege those two forts. It's going to take some time. We have some local development bonus, but we don't really need it. Uh, we can claim you. The two provinces? Yes. Both six development, so it doesn't really matter which one we take. Let's keep improving with the other country that we also want to vassalize after the war. Yeah. Yeah, we need to conquer this one and then we can take the other one. We have less mercenary maintenance as our ruler trait. That is really nice to have. Now, what do we... Pick from you. Can I even get a border with me? I can. <laughs> I think it's better for us to not do it in this peace deal. Yep, 
do pick the trade uh, thing, so we have all the uh, important trade nodes of uh, Girin trade node. That we can steer all the trade towards us. We'll pick this and then... I guess we're gonna do it like this then. And how much money do you have? How much money do you have? How much money? Okay, they don't have more money than that, so maybe we should do this then. We could really use that money to kickstart the economy. Now, it is a bit scary to put our armies over there because they are having all these troops waiting to strike. We have spices over here. Now that is nice to know. Spices are worth a lot. I think there is a lot of spices over here. Yeah. And all that trade is going to be ours. Going to be amazing. Ah, we can almost take uh, Diplomatic Tech 10 so we can upgrade our galleys. Yeah, you need money for so many things in this game. It is just crazy. Oh my goodness. They gave all this land and they gave this to Sang. Oh. Aha! We are rivals. The way of tea. Until the end of the game we get prestige. We get trade value modifier for one year. Or... Oh, why would we not pick that? Of course I pick it. Yes, we dominate the tea trade. Rather than just trading it, perhaps we should start growing it ourselves. Tea will be produced in Toza. What do we have there now? Oh, absolutely. Tea. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why I found that so funny, but uh, yeah. Uh, Shigu Zen needs a trade building. Kyoto is just very developed. Why? That's why we get so much trade power there, but we don't need a marketplace there. Now I'm going to build the good workshop that I saw, the two workshops. I think it was on the, uh, this one, right? Where we have the farm estate. Yeah, we should also get it there then, I guess. But yeah, it's not... It's not the best one. It's the third one. Let's first do the one on paper here. That is a lot of money here. Paper is worth so much. We only have six uh, Diplo power here. So if we need uh, to spend some Diplo power, we should put it here, I guess. So we make more money. And what do we need for a ma uh, manufactory on the paper? This paper mill, right? I think that's going to take some time before we can get the paper mill, but we really want to build it there. It's worth it. Ming is insulting us. Your blood will make the soil I take from you all the richer. Uh, yeah. Okay, Ming. But they can't attack me unless they claim this or something. Because I'm not going to get a border with you. Nope. I will not. Now we will go with Diplo Tech 10. We can get the war galleys. And we are now 12 years getting 20% trade efficiency. And we are going to take military Tech 10. Get better units. And we go with the Pedrero. How bad is the attrition here? It's really bad. We should just go with half of the, the armies and see what they are going to do. We are so much stronger than they are. You want to peace out? Oh, nope. They do not want to peace out. 
it appears that our heir is very careful. Now that's nice to know, but because we are going to conquer a lot. So, oh, what, is, what are these? Confusion ze zealots, okay. Yeah. I also don't think we are ready to fight Ming when they pick this one. We should do it with this one. And then we have one more chance with this one. When they get this one, they can make their tributaries their vessels. And then it is going to be very yikes. Uh, military navies. Where is the navies? Ming has 72 boats. I have 46. They have 8 heavies and 21 galleys. I have 0 heavies and 19 galleys. I'm just not ready. I am just not ready. I need more money. I need to build the buildings. I need to build my heavy ships. And it all costs a lot of money. And I need to upgrade my war galleys, uh, my galleys to war galleys. It's so expensive. We should just, uh, when we go to war, ask for a lot of money. Now that is a good thing. Who is having a lot of money? Money, money, money. Uh, country. Are you serious? No way. They have 6,000? Over here? In this country they have 6,000 ducats, guys. What? What? What do you mean? Uh, change of plans. We are going to attack that immediately. Let's bring these troops over already. Don't see any big revolts coming up soon. Let's bring them all over to the gold. Well, not really gold, but uh, our money. It's going to be our money. All my problems will be solved with that money. Everything. So much money. <laughs> they have 6,000. <laughs> I can't believe it. Really? Well, we need to watch out for the attrition before all our ships are going to uh, get killed. Disagreeing advisor. The statesman dies or 25 points? No, I think I want to keep it. Agenda failed, I know. I'm sorry. But that's it. You just say sorry and you continue. Now, do you want to peace out now? I con conquered all your forts. No. Well. I think you will soon, so I'm not going to attack the army. Yeah, they will get there in two months. There is our good workshop. We can pick, uh, pick the next expansion idea and let's not do it because... Hey, why is it so, so cheap? Take it. They have selective integration. What? Uh, I don't understand what that modifier is anymore. Nope, I forgot. I don't know anymore. There will be blood. Yes, there will be blood. Oh, yes. That money is mine. That money... Is going to be mine. Need to wait one more month and then we don't have to fight the army. Keep our manpower and go to the next goal. Alright, let's keep converting. Peace out? Yes. 
Do we care about this? No, because there are no five nations, so they cannot make a coalition, apparently. Thank you for all the land. For everything. How is the development here? Yeah. We could make the Jurgen culture an accepted culture. It's actually very big. We should make that accepted. Yeah, that's going to be one of the accepted cultures. And then we should state those lands as well. Uh, we already have 8% here. We can do 5. So I think everything that is in the Jurgen area is going to be stated. You guys are done. And let's go after the money, right? Oh yeah, we have now 300. No, yes and yes. Nothing here. Not really. Uh, do I care about this? Not really. Let's just get uh, building those heavies. I have the upgraded Carex now, right? Yes, I do. Start two. And we have to do three more. Well, that's going to be the end for this episode. Um, after we did this, of course. I'm not gonna... Because it looks better. Ah, our name changed. I don't like it one bit, but uh, we have to deal with it. In the next episode, we go after the 6,000 gold in Palembang, apparently. So I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.